Today I'm doing a bit of repair on the generator, Honda 20i that we've had for oh, going on 10, 12 years now. Um, I've never replaced the rope in this thing, never. I've never replaced the spark plug. So I'm doing a bit of a service for the rope. Um, can't be clean because I tried starting it and that's why the rope started. Uh, rope broke. because We've never replaced, replaced the rope. I've always broke it and it's always been on the end here. But this is midway down, so I'm going to put a new rope in. So I thought I'd just bring you along with the ride and uh, see how I go. Now I'm, this is all on the fly. I don't know how to do this. So, yeah, I have uh, bypassed all the fuel cut off here with an engine stop button up top here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into this and see how we go. Uh, this over here. I've always serviced this on every hundred hours. I've got a time, uh, an hour clock over the other side. So that's one thing that I do regularly do. So I think we've got to pull the whole thing apart just to get it the starter down in here. But don't need to do an oil change. Swing this around this way. I have had it apart once before. Like in the years we've had it, I've even ran over the thing. So, and I broke it here. Didn't break nothing inside. Uh, I've just super glued it back together and it's still been going strong So you can't beat the good old Honda Honda 20i the new new edition Honda 20 I um, Doesn't seem to I don't seem to like it Doesn't put out the power that this does because I've ran a uh, MIG welder off this one Now it's not an inverted MIG welder either That's that off. Just gonna put all the casings over there. Spin it around to the front. One up here. See, told you I've never been that long since I've had it apart. Down here. So I just thought I'd bring it along. See how I go. Good having those sort of tools you're not there forever right that won't come completely off because you've got all your inverter and everything inside that right that'll only go so far we only want it so far so we can split the case fuel tank out that sort of thing so spin this around this way get this one up here as you can see my hour clock there since i've put the hour clock on i've done 3075.6 hours uh, while we've been here, we haven't had the need to use it. So, but I wanted to do a test on something oh, about a month back, and I couldn't do that test. So, but never mind. See, that'll the, this generator will even run our washing machine, our front loader washing machine. Now that's a win for me. You know. It, Go and do an extender. Oh, that's a bolt. Got to go get a socket for that one. Socket's up here, turn the light on. Mind the mess of the toolbox. Do, do, do. Do. Go down into these here. As you can see, I'm not prepared. 10 mil, 10 mil, and I'll just go get a drill. I can't even get that off. That's right, that cl unclips. That should just unclip. There we go. See? Don't 
don't think I need to worry. Yes, I do need to do the other side too. It's not going to go in there. Bugger, I got that caught, didn't I? Here we go. Oh, it doesn't go in there. It don't go in that one. Goes in this side. Yeah, that's a bigger hole. That's that one. That one hasn't got one. And that should come apart by memory. Yes, that's done. Take the spark plug thing out, just to be double sure. Yep. Just got to watch me wire here for me time. Pry it apart. I think I've got to free the fuel tank up or something over the other side. Yeah, I've got a few here, a few hoses there that I've got to take off. Fuel tank's not coming apart. Yeah, I'm one for prying things, so just bear with me. There's probably people here saying, Oh, that's how you take it apart. Do this, do that. Hey, I do it my way. That's the best way of knowing. I've got another one there on the other side. I knew there was one somewhere. Down here. No, the old drill's not going to do the job. Put that on that one. That's tight. Alright, go get a different tool. Different socket, probably, more than likely. Would be the better. 11, 12, wrong size anyway, 9. There's the 10. That's up there. That one there. Go there. Come back over. There we go. Go back to my other one. Speedy brace. Is that the right one? No, no! Big mistake, eh? That's the wrong one too. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Bugger. That's the 10. I'm hanging on to a soccer ball. Here we go. Use the spanners up that way. That's a part. See? You pull a bit, you, you find out what you're missing. Alright, now this, I'll just cut that cable tie. I can replace that cable tie as long as I don't cut the wire. Because that's to do with my clock. That way I can take the case right out of the road. I just want bare engines sitting there. See that frees that up. That gets that out of the road. And the clock still works because it goes by a little battery. Battery hardly goes flat. Like I've had that on there for... I've lost how many years I've had it on there for. So I'm just going to sit that there. On the ground. You're opening the heart up. Alright, take this side apart. There's a lot more gadgets on this side. We've got the fuel line there. What to do with that little screwdriver? There. Take that one off of there. I have heard people running these on LPG gas by putting a converter in, catalytic converter or whatever they call them. Um, I've had no need for it. You gotta cart a bottle around. This runs 11 hours on the tank of fuel, still. 
after so many years. I have checked the plug, so there's nothing wrong with the plug. Just give it a good old clean with a wire brush, plop it back in. I do see many people with new ones of these and they're pull start, pull start, and they, they just don't get them going. I go over, two minutes later I've got it going. Because I've had so much experience with these things. That's that. That's still attached to that. Why are we attached to that? Because that slides out with that. Yep, fuel tank stays in there. That's that. Got another wire down here, I think. No, that stays there. I'll go undo that screw. Undo that screw. Yeah, wrong, wrong gadget. That's easy fixed. Okay, that. Pull that out. It's an half tank. And that's that side case out of the road. Whoop. My kill switch. I have to take my kill switch out. Now I'm no longer using the kill switch down here. I put in a press button up here because I did have it on a slide and I couldn't get to my fuel down here. So that only operates now the fuel. So I can actually run the whole thing without having to have the fuel running. I can leave the fuel in the tank. I don't have to run the tank dry. It's best to leave your tank full or totally empty on these, especially if you're sitting for so long. I do have to do a carby clean because that was one mistake I didn't do. Run it dry. Fresh fuel, all that sort of thing I've got to do. You can see I don't service it much inside here. Dust is all ever. But we can do all that too when I'm going to put it back together. Right, that's how simple it is for my kill switch. Just a little press button. Screw that into there. So I don't lose it. Take the casing away. Yeah, so what I've done there is I just had a little press button switch. Ran it down into the wire and disconnected the actual switch itself. Because it's only two wires, so you disconnect that and you can control your on off here. So it controls your fuel as well as turns the engine off. So that's what I've done. It's all external, it's up near the handle, out of the way. So you can turn your fuel off, still let it run. It runs the fuel out of the carburetor, all done. So what we'll do first off, is we might have a look before we get around to um, doing the rope. We'll have a look at the carburetor. Okay. Yes, I've put a light in my toolbox. Fairly strong light, that one. I'm just going to take the carburetor off. So much easier to do that. I'm going to take that out of the road. Another screw down there, screw there. But I'm going to do the carburetor first. Get it done and out of the road for us. But as you can see, the filter's nice and clean. I'm going to get into that. It's a nice tank. I can't get it that. I have to use a socket. Do, do, do this one up here. That's the geo. Tinky. No. Stay there. Yeah, my bench is a bit dirty. Do a lot on this bench. That's the whole carburetor off. Get the air cleaner off first. Got nothing going to that, have we? Been a while since I've had this off too. Yeah, we take that one off there. That's 
off there. Get down there. Yeah, that one's already off, so I don't need to worry about that. That won't fall off. Uh, take all these other hoses off. I've got to take that out of there, because that's the auto choke up there. I'm not disconnecting it. It's a pain in the butt. Well, how about... Yep, I'm going to do that. That hose is so hard. I should be lucky. Never replaced hoses on this either. Always taking care. Get me ignition out of the road. Can't see with that in the road. Right. I'm just going to take the bowl off. And see how good it is underneath. That's what I'm trying to do here. Don't think I need to go any further and taking anything off. Pull that one out. That way I don't have to pull hoses with me. Tinky! It's enough! You're annoying! Right. Undo that. Now I'm wondering how crusty this is. Oh, we still got fuel coming through. Ooh, this mightn't be too bad. Got a bit of crud and dirt in there. The jet looks a bit blocked up, so I might give that a good old blowout. Just take that off the bomber of there. Take that out of that. Now. That screwdriver's not going to do the job. Ah, oh dear. That one won't do it either. That one may. Nope. Where's that electrical one? That'll do the job. There we go. Just got to give it a little blowout. It's getting plenty of fuel. Yeah, looks to be blocked up to me. Come on, out you come. Here we go. I'll get the air compressor onto that. Better go and turn it on. Yes, I've got air on board on the vehicle. Got an 18, 18 litre tank underneath. Endless supply of air. Right. That blew the crap out of it. Sit that down in a clean spot now. I'm not going to pull the emulsion tube out. Just going to give it a blow. Ooh, don't lose gudgeon that that there. Right. I'm not putting any solutions in this, I'm just blowing it out, letting it dry out and blow it out. Give it a rub. Now yeah, that'll blow it out. Get rid of the dust. Yes, I should clean it, I know. Oh, here's a bit of WD. Won't hurt it. Give it another blow. We should be able to put that back together now. So simple. Everything's still in there. 
I don't believe in wearing gloves doing mechanics. The, the uh, gloves just tear on me, so get your hands dirty, gets it done. Alright, put all this back together. Don't know. No, that's got to be turned around. Silly. Got to go that way. Towards the front. Front of the carburetor, back of the carburetor. I think. No. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, that's the back of the carburetor. Put it all back together now. All I need to do with that for me. Goes up there, that is back to front. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I had it right first place. Oh, well, just undo it. Spin him back around. No, right, let's go. Hose on. See? Add it back to front. Alright, that on there. That hose on there. I'll check the spark plug too while I'm here. While I'm that far apart. does take a while for that air compressor to turn off because of the big tank it has got two compressors all but run by 12 volt but I can go around and pump my tires up with no with no problem whatsoever like if I air down on the vehicle go really off-road got the air there I don't need to worry about it Which is a bonus in a lot of ways. I don't have to worry about getting something out, plugging it in, all the rah 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 stuff that you've got to go through. Right, put this back on. I'm not one of those ones where I'll drag something around all the time. Get it mainly fitted all the time, no buggerizing around. so that on to so I've had no problems with it leaking or without putting new gaskets on put that one into there I'll give the air clan a good blow out while I'm here Got no blowback. Good oil in there. It's still clean from the last time I done it. Just don't blow that out. Hope I don't blow it apart. Yeah. Just blew the dust off. Just about due for a new filter. New piece of foam. This one will go into that. I 
I might blow that one out though. You big grotty. Service time. Replace those air cleaners, air fill the, the foam pieces later. The top one needs replacing, and so does that bottom one. All right, I'll leave that disconnect because the fuel tank's got to come off because of the rope start. I'll get around to the spark plug very soon. Just get rid of that bit of grass there. there okay, bit more of a blow. -off. get the big boys toy that one oh geez done up he was done up all right spinning around Move on this side Yeah, I'm gonna do it a different way. I haven't got the strength I used to have. All right, for lifting bins, but yeah, no, this is a totally different story. See, hey, all else fails. Use a bit of leverage. Oh, okay. Another part. Yep, yep. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We have to. We have to leave all that intact. It's already off. Sweet. So that's the advantage of taking that apart. Like I have. That's the fuel tank. Leave that sitting like so. Now, see that's the inverted part. Before I get too far ahead. Oh, I didn't put that back in there. Come on. Right, we need 10 mil Spaniard. All right, I'll bring you back after I've got that off and um, while it, when it's sitting on the bench. Got it all back together. Let's test it. I won't hang onto the spark plug. That's a fair bit of rope. That's pretty good, and it's retracting perfectly. That's what we want. 
All right, we'll get to. I'll bring you back when I've got it all back together. So yeah, As, but what I was saying is, see, that's just sitting there. All right, but yeah, I'll bring you back when it's all back together. Just buttoning up a few things on the outside of it. I got me spark plug wire for the uh, me me little time clock, me hour clock. All done, and that's all done. I just got to find the cover for that. Wherever I threw it, it's over here somewhere. There it is. Oops, foam's falling out. It is an old generator. Sort of things to be expected. Right. I have put a bit extra fuel in it, so we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. Let's go. That's the way a generator should go. That's with choke. See, now I can turn that off. And I can actually let that run out of fuel. No fuel left in the line by it sucking through. Takes a bit, of course. But I can also stop it up here. Instead of turning it off down here. No, it's much easier up here. You don't, not bending over, you just bend over to that and where you go. So yeah, I can still start that as it is. Turn the fuel back on, let it run. So the age of the generator's got, you know, it's got plenty of compression. Do your services. Look, I haven't changed the spark plug yet, and it still goes. It goes good. So yeah, can't beat the old generator. When they first brought them out, that's the best one that I've ever had. I uh, got it back in Gympie when we first started travelling. We were only uh, about six months into our travelling. We had a Gentech generator, noisy as all hell, used a lot of fuel. We traded it, we, we actually sold it to, to a second hand dealer. Um, got a little bit of money, put it into buying this. They had a cashback deal, $200 cashback, so we purchased it for. Eighteen hundred dollars at that time, and we got our two hundred dollars cash back in that in that sense. Um, but it's been a damn good generator. Like I, I've told you, ran over it, super glued it. Here's another part that I super glued in the back here. I really ran over it. The car actually, I left it underneath the caravan. We had a pop top caravan at the time, and I'd left it under the caravan because it was raining. Forgot about it. Went to move the caravan because the caravan was sinking. And the caravan ran over it. <laughs> so, but anyway, I glued it all back together, straightened everything out. Got it all working. Didn't hurt all the electrics up here. But yeah, having this switch up here has been a bonus. You're not turning it off, waiting for the fuel to... And draining your carburetor, you don't have to pull the cover off. You just drain it out. Suck it dry. So that's a bonus, putting that little switch in. Uh, the little owl meter. Purchased this off, that off eBay. Um, I don't think they're that dear, 15, between 15 to 30 dollars, and they're so simple to set up. I'll get that little screwdriver back out, there we go. Um, all you got to do is wind the wire, they give you a whole heap of wire, it comes across here, you drill a little hole in your casing, this is for, the, for anything that you got, even if you want to make a plate up, put it on a aluminium plate or something like that, and then mount the plate somewhere, you can do that. Um, they give you a whole excess lot of wire. It's only a single bit of wire. And you wrap it around, I think it's about, how many times have I got it? One, two, three, four, five times around the, the coil wire. All right, you can get it. So if you've got a twin cylinder, you can you have you can have two. Um, that way you can, well, you, you, you can do it that way if you want. Um, but I've never had a twin cylinder. So single cylinder of petrol. You can get the ones for the diesels as well. 
Um, they're on eBay. I actually got one. Put it on my air compressor. Got a diesel, diesel air compressor. Um, yeah, and you feed the wire, little drill hole wire in your plastic on the generators out the side where your spark plug is, and just feed it along. Put the two screws on. Feed it around five times. Cable tie it on. Job done. But yeah, I've never actually had to replace the cord on it, replace the spark plug. It's been a damn good egg generator. I would not even consider upgrading to the new ones they've got now these days. I've heard too many problems. My father's even had problems with them and he's still having problems today. So, yeah. But anyway, that was a good old Honda generator, Honda 20i. And uh, yeah, it can run it off on economy. Um, like I was explaining earlier, I ran a MIG welder off it. It was a 2.2 kVA generator, uh, in, uh, welder, I should say. Uh, but yeah, it ran it pretty good. And uh, that's when I was doing things off the back of the vehicle before I got this canopy. Um, canopy builders up, up and live. So yeah, this is just general maintenance on how I do things with our equipment. Um, it was well overdue for a new rope, so I got that on. As you can see, she's retracting pretty good. So yeah. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.